Alambi's uh, six hours west of Sydney, about 35 k's northwest of Parks. Parks is our local town. Nerily and I bought Alambi in 1984, and we started off uh, with sheep, um, a few cattle, and uh, crops. If you want to grow MSA beef, you've got to have a constant supply of feed, constant weight gain through the animal's life. The Woolworths grant gave us the opportunity to, to trial subtropical grasses across 100 hectares of our land care area. And because it's across a range of soil types and a range of mixtures of pastures within those soil types, there's a big enough demonstration across the district for people, people to be able to see the value of what we've done. The grasses in the land care group have been grown by a variety of people, so there's different management techniques used, and so people can look and see if there's something there that fits their management system and their soil types. When we've sowed this paddock here, we sowed it with a, just an ordinary combine with, uh, with narrow points, but we used a disc seeder to do, the, to do the, our more recent um, sowings. I think the secret to, uh, to sow, getting the grasses to germinate, sow them in early spring, like say the end of October, before it rains, sow them shallow, no more than say a quarter of an inch deep, and I think then you've got every chance that with the first rain and the temperature of the ground becoming right, you'll end up with a good strike. Grasses came up in February, and within six weeks, we had grasses that were probably around about three feet high. And so we put the cattle in on, on them about six weeks after they germinated. We ate it till it was about four centimetres high, right. and then we took them out. By using the lucerne in conjunction with the subtropical grasses, we're getting a variety of feeds, but we're also being able to take our cattle off the lucerne much earlier and putting them in on the subtropicals, which is letting us keep a much higher level of ground cover in amongst those lucerne plants. When you're comparing the subtropical grasses to the former annuals, we'd have a tenfold increase in the amount of feed um, with our subtropicals that we had with our annuals. The subtropicals get away more quickly um, in, the, in the season and they go further into the, into the next season. When we set out to do this project, we aim to double our carrying capacity. Well, we've gone right past that. And I think they've just been marvellous in that respect. The end result of our, our Woolworths grant is increased productivity, MSA quality through more consistent feed supply through the summer months, less erosion, both wind and water, because the grasses are holding all the country together, um, better infiltration of water, so we've got more water and, and the grasses are capable of actually using it. So I think that they're the benefits that we've directly got from the Woolworths grant. If a farmer can demonstrate to another farmer that something works, it gives him food for thought. He can take it home and think, it, think about it in terms of his, his management systems and his landscapes. And I think that's what this project's done. Mm -hmm.